I bet I know what you're thinking. Andrea got another stitch fix already? What can I say? They keep asking if I want another quick turnaround and I keep saying yes. So stick around and we'll find out what they sent me. Hey girlfriend, welcome to my channel, Dress Like You Mean It. My name is Andrea and I love clothes. So I do clothing subscription unboxings and shopping hauls and some lifestyle unboxings. And if you like that kind of thing, I hope you will stick around and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can come along on all my fun fashion adventures. So today I have a stitch fix and um, they have been sending me one right after the other. Um, I, I want to say I kept something out of my last box. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, so this, this box um, I've had for a couple of days, except we were gone for the weekend. We went to Las Vegas, got back last night, Sunday. Today is Memorial Day. So usually I open them up as soon as I get them because I have no patience. But I knew I wanted to film this and I was too tired to film when I got home last night. So, um... When I wasn't doing videos, when I wasn't filming the videos, I started peeking, but now that I'm filming again, I am not peeking. Stitch Fix is a subscription uh, styling service. You can also get them on demand, so it doesn't have to be a subscription. Mine is set to be sent every two to three weeks. Um, let's see, it's a $20 styling fee that's applied to anything you buy from the box. In my case, I don't have to pay that because I was offered the style pass which is $49 for the year, um, just a one-time fee, and anything you buy that, that's applied to as well. So they send you five items, they give you three days to check it out, they give you a bag to send anything that you don't want back in, and if you keep everything, if you keep all five pieces, then they do give you a 25% discount. They also have the preview, and um, they, they give 10 items that you can choose up to five. And if you don't choose five, then they'll just fill in with other choices. Um, my understanding is that the preview is chosen by the algorithm. And, you know, I did keep one thing. Now I'm remembering it. I kept the white capri pants. Um, and then they put the exact same pants in my next preview, which was like, what? That makes no sense at all. Anyway. So um, I, I opened the box, but I haven't taken things out. So you get um, you get a card. It's called the Oh Hello card, and that has a note from your stylist. Um, and Kale is my stylist, and it also gives you style ideas of how to wear the items. And then there's the invoice, which I don't look at until I've tried things on the return envelope. And there is. Oh, there's two pairs of shoes in here. I think I chose those from my my um, my preview. Um, so I have a teeny tiny bundle because there's only three things in there. But um, interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, let's let's take the shoes out first. So I did buy a bunch of stuff when I was in Las Vegas, and I'll probably do a video on that. Um, all right, so they have these little bitty cork wedge and then kind of sparkly on um, there and then the braided and they are slip-on so um, I'm looking for another pair of sandals so I wanted to try those and then these these are another wedge cork wedge and these are uh, gray and I think I think I thought they were going to be more of a, I don't know, would you call that a taupe? I'm not sure. It's a super cute shoe. I'm just not sure if I like the color. But we'll try them on. And then in my bundle, we have a couple pairs of shorts. We have these red shorts from Lila, Lila Ryan. And let's see, Susanna short, red size two. They've got 
Do they have real pockets? No, those are not real pockets in the back. Those are just for show. And the buttons and just a pretty simple short. All right. And then we have a market and spruce. It's purple and blue and white. Would you call that a plaid? I'm not, I'm not sure what you would call that. It's the Carol Poplin button down shirt, light purple, extra small petite. It's got the little cap sleeves, little rounded hem. Um, they had put polyester, um, at least one polyester shirt in my preview. And I was like, I don't want any more polyester shirts. So um, I'm glad that they sent something that is probably cotton. Let's see what it's made of. I'm gonna guess it's 96% cotton and 4% spandex, and it's made in Vietnam. Um, that's not something I would probably pull off the, you know, the rack, but we'll see how it looks. And then there is another pair of shorts. I know I did pick this for my preview. It's this, I guess you would call that navy. Yeah, yeah, you would call that navy. And again, pockets in the back that are not real. They're very similar to the red shorts, except for these were made by cut from the cloth. All right, so that is my stitch fix. Let's get to the try on. All right, so these are three of the items, the navy shorts, the top, and the shoes. Let's come up and talk about this top first. So I'm not sure how to wear this. I tried tucking it in and I kind of didn't like that look and it out doesn't look quite right. This is how it looks. It just, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. it it may be because of the shorts. The shorts are a little low. My belly button is, is where is it? It's right there. So it's a little bit below the belly button. And it, it's giving me a major muffin top, but we'll, we'll get to the shorts in a minute. So it's got, it's more of a short sleeve than I think a cap sleeve. I don't like this top. I, I'm not feeling this plaid pattern at all. And like I said, I just don't know how to wear it, how to tuck it in. Um, yeah, so that's the shirt. Come up a little closer. And so the problem with the shorts is where they hit me, it's given me muffin top. You can, I'm gonna be vulnerable and you can see it's, I, I just don't think it's a flattering, a flattering, rise i yeah so i mean other than that the shorts are nice they're you know kind of a maybe a brushed twill um maybe i should try them with a different shirt because so i just i'm not feeling this shirt they're they're a little bit longer than i typically wear but now that i'm getting older i probably shouldn't wear such short shorts but this is what they look like and in the back so they're probably a, I don't know, maybe a four inch rise. So yeah, that's this outfit. Let me do a close up of the shoes though, because the shoes are, are cute. You can see they're like a little wedge, but let me grab my phone and film in the mirror. So these are the sandals and you can see they've got that like blingy stuff on top. And then from the side, they're kind of an off-white color, just a little bitty wedge there and that braided side. I like these. I, you know, I like a little blingy on my sandal. So depending on how much they cost, these are a possibility. All right. So I switched tops and I actually like the shorts a lot better with this top. This is a top I got from my shopping haul, pop cart up there. Uh, from loft and I just think it makes it it doesn't emphasize the muffin top and I think it goes well with these shorts what do you think now that I've paired it with this I'm thinking about keeping these shorts all right let's try on the other shorts all right next up are these red shorts by who are they by Lila Ryan and these uh, wedges 
So we're in the same, oh, here comes the dog again. Come on. She missed us a lot while we were gone. So here, I'll pan you down so you can see her. Say hi, Sophie. So the shorts, um, they're kind of a odd width and they, I don't like the way they lay in the front. And it's, I, I don't know that it's coming across in the camera. I mean, they, I think they look fine in the camera, but it's like, it's like it's bent there. <laughs> anyway, so they are about the same rise, but they, they maybe come up a little higher. Um, in the back, they have kind of a faded look. They're like, it's like a faded rib. Um, so I'm not, not loving these. All right, these are the wedges and I will take the, my camera and go film in the mirror so you can see them up close. So these are the wedges and they are a gray color and I do not like the color. I think they, Wed, the shoe is really cute. Um, that's from the side and then from the other side. I do think that they're cute. I just don't like this color. So I will be sending these back and probably will make a note that if they have them in a different color that they should send them. So the shoes are a no. All right, let's read the note from my stylist. Hi there, Andrea, and welcome to your fix number 43. I appreciate you leaving some honest feedback in your fix preview. I was a little frustrated. Um, there was, I think there was an orange top and I say I don't wear orange. Um, and they had the jeans that, I mean, the capris that I had just bought. Um, you know, I was like, this just is not my style at all. Please look at my profile. Um, I understand the pieces weren't your taste. I'm sorry it missed the mark this time. And I also said, I don't think anybody reads these notes. And she said, rest assured, we will always read your comments and make sure to look through your purchase history while pulling from available and seasonal styles. I finished out this fix by snagging this adorable market in spruce button down shirt. It has the cotton feel you were looking for summer. And I know you've liked button down styles in the past. And this one brings some fun pops of color. I'm excited to hear how these pieces work for you. And if there's any more feedback you'd like to leave for me, like to leave to help me hone in on your wardrobe needs and style. XO Michaela. Okay, so for the prices, the stylist pick subtotal, so all five pieces, is $322. If I bought all five, there would be $80.50 discount, bringing it down to $241.50. I'm not gonna buy everything though. I did choose four of these pieces. Um, I did choose these, the DV8 Piera Strappy Wedge in gray, in size seven, and those are $79. And these are really cute, but I just don't like the color. And I, I think in the preview, I thought it was gonna be um, just a more taupey or beige. And so if they are cute, I would probably, Consider them in a different color. And so those are $79. Now the Bandolino Genie Wedge in Off-White are $59. And I am seriously considering keeping these because they're just super easy to put on. They're cute, they're blingy, tiny little wedge. I like those. So those that's a good chance I'll, I'll buy those. And then we've got the Market and Spruce Carol Poplin Button Down in Light Purple extra small petite, this is $48, which is not a bad price. I just didn't like this. I don't know if it's plaid, check, I don't know what you, what would you call that? Leave me a note in the comments and tell me what you call this pattern. Um, it just, it, I didn't like it. So that will be going back. The Lila and Ryan Susanna short in red in size two are $68. And it has the button and it also has the hook. And I actually had a little bit of trouble unhooking it. I have arthritis in my thumbs. And so that's another reason I'm not gonna keep these. I just, I don't love the shade of red and I didn't like the way they hung either. So those will be going back. I am considering keeping the cut from the cloth Thora slash pocket 
twill short in blue size two. And these are $68 also. And they just have just the button. Um, I did like these and I don't have anything like them in my closet. So these are a good possibility. All right. So that is my, gosh, I think this is my third May stitch fix. So it's the end of May. The next one will for sure be June. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I hope you'll give me that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm really excited about the new subscribers that I've gotten and I really appreciate that you spent some time with me today going over my new Stitch Fix and I'll see you next time. Until then, dress like you mean it.